Housewives and Barcelona. Who ever thought that these girls would get crumped? Black V neck. Let's go and get into it. Y'all already know what time it is. I got the black V neck on. Housewives Atlanta season 10 episode, I don't know, but one thing I do know is that I have a black v-neck on and we are in Barcelona, Spain or wherever we are this week. And when I tell y'all, this is one of the most um, best episodes of Real Housewives of Atlanta this season. Um, good, y'all finally woke us up. But there was a lot of things to talk about, so many conversations. That's why I felt like I was about to rule the nation in Wakanda, in my black v neck, because there was a lot of things I was not here for and some things that we got to address, honey. So you already know what time it is. You already heard the intro. Put your headphones on and let's get to the motherfucking tea, bitch. First thing first, let's talk about Sheree Home. Wigfield, okay? Sheree Wigfield, girl, how are you complaining about not having a bed and the bed is too small and this room is too small? When we know, we know that your ass don't have nowhere to stay, girl. You have been building on this house as long as Lego blocks have been available, girl. You've been building on this house. This house, girl, you need to be singing this shit with brand, okay? Paint this house with brown water because that's what your house built like. And considering that you built it with brown water, why the hell are you complaining? Y'all were complaining way too much about what this villa looks like and I was just like okay if it was that trash that da 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 y'all on here for a week but y'all did that y'all made a scene or whatever so the ladies head to brunch and they're having a tea session whatever and all the ladies sitting down except Nene I think Nene was in there making calls trying to find another villain which was smart and a good decision so while they're talking the conversation comes up about what Kim did and the video and how that was and people were like well I don't know how to feel about that that was wrong Kim was trash this is gonna start from the beginning Kim was garbage as fuck she should have never sent that video to anybody she should have never done that and her fucking cockatoo looking ass daughter should have never, her daughter should have never got down on, got her eagle on and recorded anything. I don't believe that Brielle was taking a picture. I believe she was trying to find some shit. She found them damn water bugs and the crickets or whatever it is and she took a picture of it. She took a video of it and she saved it. You don't say stuff like that for a mad day. Say, girl, I don't trust people like that. But you know what, Nene, this is what you get for tugging on her wig but not snatching it off. You tugged on her wig but then you were helping her secure her wig. Y'all know Kim ain't shit. Y'all know Kim. Kim has continuously proved that she ain't shit, okay? She has changed her face more than she's changed her drawers. So why are y'all surprised? Let's talk about Marlo. Girl, you would have thought that Marlo was one of James' aunt off of James and the Giant Peach. Girl, she was so thirsty for a peach. Thirsty as hell for a peach. She was doing any and everything to secure a peach. And girl, here's the ultimate shade and here's the ultimate gag. As long as Real Housewives Atlanta has been running, you have never made it to Andy's Clubhouse, girl. Mouse. Never let you in the clubhouse ever. He's never let you sit in there on the Iron Throne and tell your shit. Girl, not only until you did this situation, it's until you got a seat at the damn table. And it wasn't even a seat, girl. It was a kiddie seat because you still don't have a damn peach. And even that, I'm gonna get to your ass a little bit later. We're gonna save you and your wig for later, okay? Shamia ends up apologizing to Eva about asking the question about what, who she's sleeping with. Is she a bisexual woman? How, what does she identify as? And Eva said, you know what? I didn't want to answer that question. I'm not feeling comfortable because my husband is running for mayor. Now, Eva, girl, let me go give you a one, two, three piece, two from Popeye's on a five dollar box real quick. Not no church's chicken type chicken. We don't eat fried flour. But Eva, you bring absolutely nothing to Real Housewives of Atlanta season 10. I like you. I think you're cute. I think you're talented. I think you're, um, you know, you're funny and a confessional, but as far as like maneuvering with the ladies, you can't keep up, girl. What we really should have done is cut Eva ass to save on the budget for the villa, okay? Maybe we would have had a better place to stay if we would cut Eva out of the budget because Eva didn't bring shit. She brings cute little shade and her big hair but that's it girl she give me fair faucet and I don't want no damn water coming out the faucet bitch I want filter water and Eva's not giving me that she's not giving me filter water she's not giving me towel she's giving me the shit out of the fountain girl I'm not sure who mouth been on there Eva I'm just you're boring as hell on the show girl this is real housewives and that we talk about sex everything this is the conversations that we have and you didn't feel comfortable talking about that girl did you not do your research did you not try to figure out what was going on you thought you were just gonna be cute and twirl around and that was gonna be it Kenya tried this shit and she ain't even heard see but Shamia I'm glad you apologized because you and Marlo are fighting over the peach like y'all ass is finna fucking get some magic seeds out there, ho damn. So let's head out to lunch. They're going to tour the city. Uh, Portia, your ass don't know how to drive, girl. Why we have to drive? Portia running into shit, talking about some, well, you know, I didn't know where I was going. Portia driving all over places. She run over shit. 
Portia, this is how I feel, girl. You ain't no grown woman yet because every grown woman knows that she's supposed to have some sandals and some shit in her purse anytime she walk around with some damn heels on, girl. You know you can't do that shit, girl. You know you are a journalist and you used to sitting at the desk and talking to the mic, honey, doing some acting gigs. Girl, you should have been pooching around in them heels while you ran in the back of that damn man and almost got your license suspended, sis. I almost forgot about um, Cynthia's bucket list, honey. Um, Cynthia wants to do a bucket list and she wants everybody to do some crazy shit. So she want a tongue kiss. She want to do this. So she reaches out and she said, girl, who is going to be? And then Portia said, girl, well, I'm the kissing expert. Let me get my ass to the front. And she do it. And then y'all know candy ass could not wait, honey. Let me tell y'all something. I got to just lightly tug on candy wig and save the rest for later because I want to grill her ass with some mashed potatoes, some squash. We're going to have two starches, maybe three starches, and we're going to have some vegetables. Okay, vegetables. That's what we're going to have. But Candy was just so ready. Oh, Portia, she would jump up and, you know, she kissed it. She can kiss better than that. She was all in my mouth. Candy gives me the um, the energy of a man who's been rejected at the club or something. Like, I've been dancing on you all night and I'm not interested in taking your ass home. For women, okay? Candy gives me the energy of a woman walking down the street, doing whatever, and catcalling. And, and a woman like, girl, can I just get to work? Can I do this? Oh, bitch, you got a funk ass out too. You need to smile on your face. Damn. Da -da. Candy gives me that. She don't know how to do re rejection. This shit is over with. Why you pressed about it? You didn't do it. Y'all ain't doing it. Candy, find your damn space. Enter your password and log the phone off because we're tired of hearing about this shit and I don't give a damn how y'all feel about it. So all the ladies ordering lunch, um, Portia ordering octopussy, y'all know she like pussy, um, Marlo ordering old white men penis and shit, um, Candy ordering goddamn vagina with a side of eggplant on the side, Nene ordering fucking pig nose and pig toes, um, Cynthia ordering a man and she ain't got one. Uh, I don't know what everybody else. So they're ordering food. Everybody's eating, you know, talking shit, drinking. They having a good time. They talking. And the conversation once again comes up about Kim. And the roach come in and the videos and stuff. And then he goes in talking about she built a $2 million house and she got plenty of money. She doing this and that. Yeah, we know you built a $2 million house. That's why your ass is back on Housewives, okay? Because you know you couldn't afford this shit doing a little pedal ass motherfucking temporary jobs. Your ass got fired from this shit doing with candy ass. So I know that's hurting your little pocketbooks a little bit. You coming up with a t-shirt like every six weeks or some shit like you giving us report cards and progress reports. Girl, it's cute for you but uh, Nene, I mean, let's just be honest, girl. You're back on season 10 of Housewives, honey. That's probably why we couldn't get a big, bigger villa or a bigger place or a better place because we had to pay your ass to bring whatever you were supposed to bring on Housewives and you've not been bringing it. I mean, you've had some cute moments every once in a while but it's not been nothing stellar. But like I said earlier, Kim was wrong for that. That shit was garbage as hell and I felt like it was some you know, it was in between a little racism because I feel like she was trying to say, you know, uh, she got roaches, you know, black folks have roaches, you know, that type of shit. I think like she was trying to get that type of conversation and y'all know that Kim is known for saying shit like that because she even told Candy, like, oh, you know, Sweetie told me this was the ghetto and I'm not sure. Like, Kim, get your ass on. Maybe you need to find the ghetto on your goddamn Google Maps so maybe they can find you a better wig and a better plastic surgeon because, girl, that shit is a wrap. Cut. I holler when Nene says Sheree Wigfield. <laughs> So we move it on. Marlo feels like she got to shake the shit up. And the gave Marlo a couple of dollars on some shit, so she felt like she got to stir the pot a little better. So she says, uh, Portia, are you going to say something to her? Are you going to say something to your friend, um, Kim? Or you going to let her know that this shit was wrong? And Portia was like, girl, I don't know about that. And you can tell a little bit from the past that Portia and Marlo was not feeling. Even Candace said something about Marlo the previous episode that Marlo was cutting up a little too much and she was negative and nobody was believing her. So Marlo is drunk at this point. She's high. She's been, you know, she's she's dealing with whatever. She ain't been able to touch an old wrinkled white man in a minute. So she's just really fiending at this point. So she's relying on alcohol. And y'all order some absolute vodka. Ew, girl. Um, I don't drink that cheap ass shit unless I'm going to a goddamn um, Q dog party, girl. <laughs> okay, where Umbaku try bed? But bitch, no ma'am. So she asked him, uh, Portia, and Portia's like, girl, I don't want to talk about that. You can tell that Portia was uncomfortable. Right then and there, Portia, you should have been a grown woman and said, you know what? This energy is not like right for me. Let me move on. Portia, I'm going to have to give you a piece because I would have recognized her. I said, girl, let me just move home because Marlo is acting up and she's trying to get something out of me. But Portia, you remain seated there and you know that energy was bad. You know it was. That's why you kept doing that because she was in your space. You should have moved, okay? Now, you know that eyes are on you and you are the damn sparrow so every time you move they hear caca 
So you got to get out of these spaces like this shit um, portion. And, then, and I feel bad for you. I feel for you. Marlo was going on a tangent. She was shooting off. And then you were doing stuff. Now, I saw Marlo. You point your hand in Portia's face and say some shit. You did that. Now, uh, Portia, your ass put that damn fan in her face and did whatever. But um, it only takes one person to say, I don't want this shit in my face. And there you have it. They get into they tussle. And they, 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 well, it wasn't a tussle. It, they made it seem like it was a tussle. But she snatched it. Portia stood her ass up. Marlo was still going off on a tangent. Talking shit because she was drunk and she was relying. She knew she was wrong because she started relying on her friends to start telling her she doing this and that. Like Marlo, you ain't no strong girl. You ain't no strong bitch. You ain't no strong because you rely on every time you say some shit and you insecure as fuck. You relying on everybody else's energy and how they feel about the situation that you just made. I ain't feeling that shit, Marlo. Now I don't mind you shaking the table up and shaking your wig and shaking them goddamn cockroaches out your bottom toe, but you ain't finna be on housewives just being a mess like that. And you know what? I feel feel bad for you and I feel like I need to and I feel like I need to have a Monique moment with you because you're their sister. And say, well, you wasn't crying like that when came the situation happening. And I'm like, girl, what does it have to do with this? Um, Marlo, every time you do something wrong, nobody brings up the fact that you cussed Nene out, called her Donald Trump, said you bad bill, and said all this, and y'all best friends. And that was three, four years ago. And nobody always brings up the fact that you used the F-bomb a couple years ago when you were talking to Shrey about her friends. You specifically said faggots. So we ain't bringing your shit up, and I could bring your shit up because I still think you're a bad person but Marlo you can't be doing that like Portia has apologized she said this and that y'all don't want to hear her and I think it's a power play thing at this point because Portia has said something to Candy Candy don't want to hear it but then the moment some shit like this happened Candy take her fucking high top wig wearing ass and say oh you know this and that so if we can agree that Kenya was wrong for putting the scepter in Portia's face, okay? Y'all can't switch it back and forth. I've always said that she was wrong. And Kenya and Portia, your ass was wrong. Now, both of y'all ass was doing it, but you got to be careful when you putting shit in folks' face. And you know what? Marlo, you were provoking her. You did the same exact thing. Y'all all was garbage with the whole situation. I didn't understand it, and it was just way too much. And Nene, y'all saw that shit, and y'all did not want to stop it. Y'all just let Marlo carry on. No Nobody checked her and Marlo how I know that the shit is bullshit because if the shit if you really felt some type of way somebody need to dress Kim you would have said something to her big sister Sheree honestly Marlo if you really cared you would have chin checked Sheree right in there you would have said Sheree are you gonna say something because Sheree was the one that carried the bone to Kim and told her what happened but Marlo it's easy to jump on the person who is the weakest at the moment and you did that Marlo you remind me of a hyena like you don't do the work girl you just eat dead carcasses and shit, okay? You can't do shit by yourself, so you got to have a group of people. And you know what? No, that's how you would, if you were to check somebody, you should have checked Sheree. You should have checked Sheree, but you did not do that. And it was easy to get on Portia. Now, let me tell you the whole group of all y'all. Y'all honestly don't like Portia. Let's just get that understood. I don't care if y'all say the black v-neck is a cape for Portia, but I'm seeing and I'm tired of it. I understand why Candy feels a certain type of way, and I'm not telling her to get over it. But if she ain't truly giving a fuck about this situation, she need to get the fuck off the goddamn show. If she that goddamn person that hurt her business or selling dildos and tired ass seven patties and fucking old lady gang, she need to move. She need to go on go and say, girl, I can't be a part of this shit no more. Or if you truly are the boss, let Portia go. Tell them folks to let Portia go off the show. But we know you don't have that type of power, okay? Candy, you really don't have a sickening ass storyline, to be honest. You only cute when you have your other family members. But Portia weight looks good on her. Now, her vegan storyline is garbage. I would say that the bacon vegan shit is garbage. But Marlo, I find it very funny and and kind of hypocritical for you to say that she's had everything done. Have you not seen Nene's nose on season 10 of Real Housewives Atlanta season? Okay. Have you not seen how much Nene has changed and made how she might have lightened up over the last couple of years? Have you not seen the work that she has had done and how she looked different when she don't have makeup on? Like, Marla, how can you call her out? Like, have you not seen the whole cast of everybody on Real Housewives Atlanta? Everybody has some work done. I think the only person who's probably not had some work done is Cynthia and Candy, to be honest. But everybody else, do do do, do. Girl, pull it up. Shamia did a good job trying to comfort her friend. I appreciate her for that. She said, girl, don't worry about this. This tight ass hoe ain't got shit. Da, da, da. Move on about your business, honey. So, and then he, that was a time for you to check Marlo. You did. You just said, oh my gosh, a taxi. Like, it was just, it was way too much. Marlo ass was drunk as hell. So they head back and Portia, you know, goes to talk to Nene and she said, look, I just need to go. This energy is not right for me. I just got to leave. And I felt Portia when she started crying. She said, you know what? I just, I can't do all this. And I understood where she was coming from because they've been picking at her every chance. I could not do it. 
I could not do it because that, that shit would bother me. I like every time y'all always fucking me. Every time I turn around, y'all ain't blessing me, but y'all only stressing me. Girl, I cannot do it. I cannot do it. But I'm gonna tell y'all, peep this shit. Peep this shit because Nene was interested in being Portia's friend or her big sister again because it's a power play for Nene. Nene liked the fact that Portia came to her and bowed down to her and recognized that she is the bigger person. She is the bigger sister. So now Nene is interested in supporting her now. That's all it is. All y'all ask is full of shit. Y'all don't want nobody to feel like they're better than you or whatever, but y'all do this shit on every episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta. But that's the tea and that's the goddamn gag. So next episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta is going to be boring. Y'all already know that. Um, the conversation about Tyrone and Nene is popping up and Nene is spilling her own tea. Cynthia is about to be baptized in a whole bath. <laughs> Girl, don't, don't tell me. I don't understand. How to, I don't know how to do that. Sheree Wingfield is about to be called out about her friendship with Kim and what she gonna do to address this bullshit. Child, tell what y'all think about this episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta, honey. Let me know who y'all thought was wrong. I'm pretty sure y'all signed off already. Y'all probably don't agree with me with the Portia situation. But I want y'all to be honest and look and see how they've been treating Portia and how the shit is. I cannot be no person like Candy and seeing shit going on instead of be petty like that. I just, I'm just, I'm not interested in Tell what y'all think and I'll talk to you, Dusty Host, later on tonight. Bye. Oh, I don't want bad, bitch. And I got a bankroll, host. Come on, bitch. Come on. Just stay your lay at home Get mad, bitch, cause you won't take my order. Come on, bitch. Come on, she a ghetto ass bitch. Oh, it ain't about no fast food. I'm ready to get some extra bitch. Oh, it ain't about no fast food. I'm ready to get some extra bitch.